Millionaires are leaving their home countries for a better life overseas. They want to reduce their taxes. They want to improve their living standards. And today we're going to talk about which countries millionaires are choosing, where they're moving to, and the reasons behind their departures. Having a look at this chart by Visual Capitalist, we can see that the country that has lost the most millionaires out of all the countries discussed on this chart is China. In 2023, over 13,500 people left China for a better life overseas. Undoubtedly, the handling of the past health crisis only accelerated this trend, but Chinese citizens have been leaving China for well over 10 years now, especially millionaires. They're taking their wealth with them for a better life overseas. They want to have more asset protection. They want to live in a country where they have a much higher quality of life. And this is why Chinese citizens have been choosing places like Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, the UAE, Portugal, Switzerland, the United States, and even Canada. There are many more reasons why Chinese citizens are leaving China, including air pollution, increasing control, and a poor quality of life. India comes in second spot. The country has lost over 6,500 millionaires in 2023. Surprisingly, in the third spot, we find the United Kingdom. The Brits have voted for Brexit in 2016, which accelerated a mass exodus of Brits into European countries and even Asia. Due to Brexit, Brits can no longer enjoy the freedom of movement that comes with the European Union. And this is why so many Brits left the United Kingdom, because they want to get a better passport and it was much easier to get into European countries before Brexit happened. Number four, we got Russia. The country that started the Ukraine war in 2022 is suffering from heavy sanctions and is one of the countries that is losing the most millionaires out of all the countries that we're discussing in today's video. Tons of foreign companies have exited Russia since 2022, undoubtedly reducing the quality of life of everyday Russians. Brazil is another country that has been losing a ton of millionaires in recent years. Then we also got South Africa and Mexico. What is interesting about this part is that we're talking about millionaires that are moving out of their home countries and that are moving into new countries. So we're not talking about how many millionaires are being created in any given country. This is not the point. The point is the migration of millionaires. Certain countries are losing more millionaires than others, and it's not even close. What's interesting here is that the countries that we've been talking about here, specifically Brazil, Russia, India, and China, are all BRICS nations. These countries are part of the original nations that founded BRICS, and these countries are losing the most millionaires out of all countries that we're discussing in today's video. The biggest winners in the millionaire migration are Australia, a country that won over 5,200 millionaires in 2023. In second spot, we have the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, a country that gained over 4,500 millionaires in 2023. Third spot, we got Singapore with over 3,200 millionaires gained in 2023. Then the United States, a country that gained 2,000 millionaires in 2023. Canada gained 1,800 millionaires. Switzerland also gained 1,800 millionaires. 1,000 for France, 800 for Portugal. And surprisingly, 1,200 millionaires migrated to Greece in 2023. If you are a millionaire or an aspiring millionaire and you want to leave your home country for a better life overseas, you want to reduce your taxes, you want to improve your living standards, you want to have better dating opportunities, then here are a couple of countries that you might want to consider moving to in 2024 and beyond. One of the countries with the highest quality of life in the entire world is Switzerland, specifically for millionaires who have the necessary change to establish a new life in the country. Of course, Switzerland is not the cheapest of countries countries, but it's high standard of living, great air quality, educated people, great infrastructure, and its central location in Europe offer a ton of value to millionaires that want to live in a country that is filled with beautiful sceneries, a country that is filled with educated, rich, and intelligent people. And undoubtedly, Switzerland is for people who value nature, who love lakes and cleanliness. While Switzerland is not an EU or EEA member, it is part of the single market. Market, but it is not bound by the EU's immigration policies, which is a definite plus. Switzerland offers lump sum taxation, which is a definite intriguing factor for millionaires who want to move to a country and all the money that they're going to surrender is going to be the lump sum tax. So it is not a progressive tax rate that you're facing if you qualify for the lump sum taxation in Switzerland. If you're interested in obtaining a residence permit in Switzerland, please feel free to reach out to us now. Italy is another country that offers an amazing 
amazing quality of life in a country that has attracted quite a few millionaires in recent years due to the fact that Italy's leadership decided to reduce tax rates for first-time residents. Up until recently, Italy offered a great tax exemption to new residents, first-time residents that qualified for this tax regime, while the 70 to 90 percent tax exemption is no longer available to new applicants. You may qualify for a 50 percent tax exemption by moving to Italy. Italy is one of the countries with the highest quality of life in all Europe. It is also one of the most diverse countries. In northern Italy, you have great architecture you have a high standard of living, you have a lot of manufacturing. So Northern Italy feels a lot like Central and Northern Europe. But as soon as you go further down south, let's say you hit Rome, things start changing pretty quickly. Italy is home to one of the best climates in the entire world. It is called the Mediterranean climate. And Italy is a very diverse country. You got mountains, you get ski resorts, ski cities, you get beautiful beaches in Sicily, in Sardinia. Italy has so much to offer to a wide group of people, right? Italy isn't just for one specific group of people. Italy is for lots of different people, for families, for entrepreneurs, for people who are interested in having just a higher quality of life. Italy is a great place for people who value history, who value cleanliness, and who value living in a very diverse country. Americans and Canadians can establish themselves in Italy by investing in a local company. Getting Italian citizenship is a long path. It can take up to 10 years depending on what program you qualified for. Unless you're getting married to an Italian citizen, chances of you getting Italian citizenship are not that great, at least not for the short term. But like I said, Italy offers a path to citizenship, but it is a lengthier path than in many other countries. Italy also applies a reciprocity principle, which means that if you are from from a country that Italy has a treaty with. We're now talking about real estate investments and also settling down in a country. If your country has a reciprocity agreement with Italy, which is true for the United States and Canada, you can move to Italy and purchase real estate, something that is not possible for citizens of different nations, such as in Asia, where, for instance, a country like China or India does not have a reciprocity agreement with Italy. Over 2,000 millionaires have migrated to the United States in 2023. While the United States it's facing a lot of issues, including quality of life issues and a lot of political issues. Many people are moving to the United States to establish a business and have a better quality of life. If you are a millionaire in the United States, then chances of you having a fantastic life are actually quite high. How can you get into the United States? Well, there are a couple of visas that you may qualify for, depending on how much money you can and want to invest in the United States. To get an E2 visa for the United States, you would have to invest at least $100,000. So that's one option. That's that's definitely the lower tier option, but the E2 visa does not automatically grant you a green card. Another option for you would be to get an EB5 visa, but with the EB5 visa, you actually do get a green card. The processing times for an EB5 visa are actually quite long. It can take up to 36 months for this visa to be issued. One of the great points of living in the United States as a millionaire is that you have so many different places to choose from. You can live in Florida or Texas, more conservative states. But you can also go live in places like Puerto Rico, Guam, or the U.S. Virgin Islands. You can also live on the islands of Hawaii. The United States is a very big country offering a diverse scenery, lots of different states with different mentalities. We're talking about people here. You have conservative states, you have liberal states. So it's kind of like the same as what we're seeing in Europe, where Eastern Europe is more conservative than Western Europe. As a millionaire, which of the discussed countries are you interested in moving to? If you need any help with obtaining a residence permit or an investor visa for Italy, Switzerland, or the United States, please feel free to reach out to us now. Thank you for watching Nomad Elite.